What's up? Shoki here. Finally, the sear nerf came today. Which means many people will stop going to a psychiatrist after playing Apex. I have made a side to side comparison with the old sear ability, so let's get into it. Before, if an enemy was full HP, the heartbeats were beating really fast. Now you will need to scan a lot more to find a full HP enemy. If an enemy is not full HP, much faster heartbeats will appear, just like before, so that didn't get changed. Now you will not get little lines which will indicate where will the enemy be. This isn't a nerf, it's more like a cleaner UI because the heartbeat does the same thing as those lines. Before the nerf you had unlimited range with the visible enemies in your heartbeat. This is now reduced by a lot, it is almost removed. This was one of my favorite things about Seer because you could find fights easier, really sad that they have removed it. Field of view is reduced, but to be honest it is almost literally the same thing as it was before. So no significant changes here. Those are the passive changes, now the tactics Tactical changes. Detonation delay has been increased by 0.2 seconds. It isn't much, but to be honest, it will be a lot easier to escape now than before. Listen to this. Damage and flash from the tactical have been fully removed, which is a big relief and the highlight of this nerf. Now you are moving slowly when holding the tactical, while before you had the full walking speed. The ultimate cooldown has been increased by 30 seconds, here is a comparison. So now you will have your ultimate at 79% compared to 100% before in the same time period of 90 seconds. Those are all of the changes and if you ask me, they are not that significant, even everything got nerfed. The main problem for me is the interrupt and it didn't got removed. And it is the most frustrating thing. Also his ultimate still can be easily destroyed if you place the ultimate by your location. I played with and against Seer for a few hours and everything feels almost the same. The good thing is that there will be a lot less Seer players because a lot of people don't even test the legend by themselves. They just see a Seer nerf and they won't play the legend because they think that Seer is pure trash now. Those people are also hard stuck silver. At the end many other fixes have been implemented but nothing that we have interest in. Yes, the 7 switch players have also received some changes which is nice to see. That's it, thank you for watching, bye!